And it's like there's this injunction in the New Testament against praying in public. You know, and it's like virtue signaling. It's like you don't pray in public because then you go out and you show everybody just what a great believer you are and how good you are. It's like, well, that's what you're doing. You're not trying to get your act together. That's something you do in private at home. You think, okay, what kind of moron am I? And what stupid things am I doing? And then what could I possibly do to get rid of one of those a little bit now? Well, anybody can do that. And that's associated with these great evils, you know, in, in this way that we've already described. It's like you're constraining, you're improving your character and you're constraining the kinds of actions and perceptions that you have that are going to make you sick of life and work against it. Because failure does that. That's the Cain story. It's like, keep screwing up, man. See what happens. If you think that isn't going to make you bitter, and if that isn't going to make you vengeful, and if that isn't going to make you work to hurt people around you, or at least not to help them, which is the same thing, then you're just not paying attention. Everyone knows that's true. So, well, that's responsibility, right? And then, so you take on this great task of putting yourself together. It gives you life meaning. And that also helps you be buttressed against the fact that there's lots of suffering in life and there's lots of malevolence. It's like, yeah, true, man. Absolutely. It's worse than you think even. But you can do more about it than you think. And there's nothing in it except good, but you also have to take responsibility. So that's the thing. You've got to decide if that's what you're going to do. But you don't get to whine about it if you don't because you haven't tested it.